Welcome to an overview of task management with Autodesk PLM 360. My name is Brian Shannon and in this video we'll examine how activities relating to a product or project can be broken down into individual tasks with workflow, milestone due dates, and the ability to mash all this data up into one comprehensive view. So to start this video tutorial off right, let's go and actually take a look at where the tasks will wind up. And we have a workspace dedicated just to them, but first we're going to take a look at the products workspace. Once inside of the products workspace, I've chosen one of the sample products that comes with it out of the cloud. And I'm going to click on the project management tab here, and it's called tasks and deliverables. Now while that opens and paints, you can see a list of all the tasks that are responsible for getting this product uh, through PLM 360 and ultimately out the door. From concept all the way through requirements, development, and then pilot runs. Now the records that you see here, these are actually linked tasks. And a linked task, the benefit is, it inherits the milestone data which is on the task in another workspace inside of PLM 360. So in essence, this allows you to delegate work to another person or another team and uh, roll up and mash up all of the data over here and you can see at a bird's eye level what's late, what's on time, what's near to being due. So let's go and build a, a task list for another new product that we have inside of our PLM 360 tenant. So let's head over to the task and deliverables tab and I'm going to grab a little bit more real estate and the next step I'm going to add linked items. Now if I was building this from the ground up I could select some of these, click on next and that would add and inherit all of the milestones into the task. But since I want to build this in a top-down method I'm going to click on create new. Building the task is relatively straightforward. The mandatory fields for task creation are shown here. You have the title, what phase, a target due date, and then the series of approvers for that particular task. So I'll just plug in a few things here. The title, what phase this is covering, what the target due date, and then one of the approvers. Click on save and add or save and new to keep going. And in this example, I'll add one more task just to stagger out the tasks and milestones. And we'll drop in a competitive market analysis that's one week out from the industrial design review. Click on save and add. And we'll add these to our project. So with our two tasks created in the top-down method, let's take a look at what we have. We have uh, industrial design review, competitive market analysis, and the Gantt chart is starting to build out. Now these each have a little bit of workflow and milestones attached to them. So let's go over into the task's workspace just by clicking on this and go and look directly right at the task and make some adjustments.